probably the worst kept secret in video games. This game has been revealed multiple times. IGN even leaked the trailer early. Thank you, IGN. Uh, I was lucky, lucky enough to see this reveal uh, last week, I think it was. So I recorded it. I didn't actually watch it. I just recorded it. And we're going to do like a sort of live reaction. Anyone that's been on this channel for a while knows I love the first game. And that's, 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 all, that's all I'm going to say. Love the first game. And I'm hoping this game's going to be out very, very soon. I hope. I'm starting with a horse thing. Close your windows. When it seems you're out of luck. Is this real? This is real, right? This looks like a film. <laughs> Unless the graphics have dramatically improved since the first There's game. There's just one man who gives a fuck. Who's the one? Okay. Who's this on the horse? You that looks like... It can't be. Already. Now who can that friend I recognize the hair. Henry. Yay. Henry. <laughs> there he is. While, but now we can finally show you Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Yay. Oh my god. So happy. So happy. Oh, we're going to the trailer. Damn. Okay. Oh, wow. The scale. Ooh. There's projectile weapons. Trebuchets. There wasn't guns in the in the first game. I guess it's about the first sort of uh, creation of weapons. Like, shooty weapons. <laughs> what am I talking about? Uh-oh. Warhorse is back, baby. Oh man, the scale looks insane. Oh boy. There's Henry. Leaving this place. An unlikely hero in the first game. Becoming more than a peasant. I must have known that was going to be a trap. <laughs> what did you expect? You know the trouble with an adventurous life? Ooh. It can end the Hell yeah. Started. So ready. Wow. Okay, they're stepping up. Congratulations tonight. You this feels like a proper sequel. A Wake up. Pull yourself together, Henry. Can we be that hero again? First person combat is back. I don't think there's any differences. Crossbows, nice. That was probably one complaint from the first game. Oh wow, okay. Nobody Took me cap out. Hand anything on a platter. The combat was a little bit clanky. I got used to it eventually, like but it took a bit of time to learn. Still have a long way to go. Learn Your ways. work is done. Doggy. Graphics look really impressive, actually. Yep, first weapons, fire weapons. Guns, I guess we've got. Is that the word I'm trying to think of? Oh, baby! Woo! Oh, merciful God. Yes. Be kind I'm so and happy. protect us. So we don't blow our arses off. Amen. Amen. Oh, wow. Well. It's like Guy Fawkes. Hello and welcome. My name's Tom McKay, and together with Luke Dale, we're here to present the first in-depth so look at Kingdom Come as well. Deliverance 2, an mm. action RPG set in they a realistic like brothers, world of it's the weird. late Middle Ages. We're in Kuttenberg, a gorgeous city at the heart of Europe, but also at the heart of KCD2. So let's take you into the world of the game with the help of Warhorse, the creators of this medieval saga. It's almost exactly 10 years this since I was doing a cool video though. like this, uh, introducing our new game. It's almost exactly six years since this game called Kingdom Come Deliverance was finally released. So now it's perfect opportunity to show you what we have been working on those six years. 
which is Kingdom Come Kingdom Deliverance Come. 2. And where else to do it than in this magnificent cathedral in the royal city of Gutenberg, where majority of this game takes place. Back then, 10 years ago, at the beginning, it was only 11 of us uh, in a small wow. office. Now it's 250 people working very hard for years okay. to bring you the ultimate medieval RPG adventure. That is what I like to hear. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 follows Ooh. the adventures of Henry, a young lad who barely survives the invasion of a raiding force on his village. Henry embarks on a quest of revenge against those who butchered his family and burned his home to the ground. As a trusted squire and friend to young Sir Hans, our hero Henry is sent on a simple mission, but things turn ugly very soon. Kingdom very. Come Deliverance 2 is a continuation of Henry's previous adventures, but the story's written in such a way that it's perfect for newcomers to Henry's journey. Henry is you should play a the first character game, that I it think everybody good. can identify very, very with because he starts off as a kind of nobody and goes through life with all these Pretty immense challenges. And I, th I feel like everybody can relate to that. Hans is all the kind of fun times and all the kind of ebullience and joy that Henry has in himself, but it takes a bit of accessing, and I think Hen Hans really helps him to do that. Whew. You're right. Yeah, Henry's definitely stench. a bit more serious. <laughs> Let's hope this water isn't too cold. Damn, he's still been working out. I'd enjoy shrinking. <laughs> I'm more worried about it being too deep. Come on. Let's go for what a little we dip. are making now is what it was supposed to be in the beginning, but we were not able to do it because we didn't have enough resources and experience yeah, and all, all that stuff. We've proven that the concept works, and now we can yes. take it to another level, which we always wanted. The game is so much good. bigger in scope. Original game okay. we had, I don't know, three hours of cutscenes. Now we have more than five regarding the size of the world. It's, it's two times bigger than it was. The story is two longer times as big and much more epic. So Doubled in size. Previously, it was about an issue of small nobility with bandits in their villages. Now it's uh, about problems of kings. This is a behemoth of a game in comparison to the first, in my opinion. I think it's I think it's got so much more energy and pace and adventure and action and fun and, and trial and tribulation and just everything mm. that you could want from setting up the characters so beautifully in the first game. It's hard to tell from watching the game. And throwing them out there and going, right, let's see that. what you're made of. This is going to be so much fun. Yes. Henry is a young guy, so he's not really like so deeply entrenched in his already, you know, set character traits. It was a bit of ro so romance you in the first. You can game, build your Henry in a different ways, oh. and that all means that it's actually on you who you want to be. You can save the world, or you can help to punish it for its sins. Being good guy for a bad guy. So it depends you on how you want to approach it. Historically accurate, but like RPG, we don't want really. to do that for the historical reasons of something. We want to do that for the immersion. And we want you to feel sword in your hand. We want you to feel threatened by the enemies Definitely in the battlefield. A lot more enemies. We want you to fight for your life. First as far game is quite repetitive. As, uh, missile weapons go, we added new mm. type of weapon. We added crossbows. Crossbow, yeah, that's new. Also, some early firearms. Kingdom Come Whew. feels like the good old school RPGs. You it will always surprise you, you what that you can and cannot do. You know, you can be better in combat, you can be a sweet talking guy who talks his way out of problems. Hello. You can be a charming knight, you can be a thief, you know, Definitely a scoundrel. Definitely can be a charming knight. Hello, Anything ladies. You do will be recorded, people will remember it. If they saw you do that, our crime system will react to that. For example, when you are, I don't know, drunk and naked, people mm -hmm. comment on that on the street, and now <laughs> you can also reply. You can tell them, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Or you can tell them, uh, piss off, man. I'm doing that, do a lot piss of off. Criminal I'm stuff around the village, people will start to be suspicious, they will greet you differently. So try to it make a bit like little um... things collapse into like great mosaic that where that kind of thing your around, actions oblivion. are really reflected. It will always surprise you what can be done in Kingdom Come. Some games as well. We'll spark the first game. Reading some books. 
live we are in moving in to different times. places. So one map is taking place on the actual place that's called Bohemian Paradise. So it's and two maps. It's really beautiful nature okay. with uh, okay. quite unusual rocky formations all around. And then we are moving to totally different, rather urban Ooh. countryside surrounding huge silver mining, you very rich really city, get much so in the first this game. big mm -hmm. city. The Gutenberg is a huge step forward for us, and it was, I would say, biggest challenge in the game. Because uh, from those small outskirts and uh, small cities, we are really getting in the one of the richest cities in the medieval Europe. And it's really big. It's even too big, in my opinion. <laughs> We are Never trying to big. go Bigger. beyond that usual uh, muddy, dirty medieval world, dark ages where everyone is dying uh, from famine or on war. It was really like colorful. Like uh, it wasn't dark at because all. Medieval, you, well, we have you think really of negative by things like dark colors, like gray, Blair muddy, death. Go and explore all those like little woods and beautiful yeah. rocks and this, is, this video is not in 4K as well as The thing that I love about the game most is just Obviously wandering like around. Cool because thing. the nature is really beautiful, it's, it's really serene, peaceful, and it's full of secrets. A killer score. The music is big part of the game. It's a massive part. Jan Walta is the composer as with the first game because I think he's awesome, he's a genius. Yeah, in case you guys haven't played the first game, you have no intention of playing the first game, please go and watch my series. It was such a fun series. We recorded it like six years ago. Um, be a really cool series from beginning to end. Romance, um, intrigue, combat, massive fights. Yeah, really, really fun game. Game I really, really liked. But I don't feel like maybe got all of the plaudits probably deserved. It was like a bit of like a sort of staggered launch, like Kickstarter and stuff. But like sometimes that takes away from like the big day one launch. But it was very good. I think it's on PS4, Xbox One. PC. Actually, I think it came to the Switch recently as well. So, yeah. I think this, this new one's only coming out on PC, PS5, Series X, and Series, Series X and X. Very cool reveal, though. Very cool reveal. Getting straight to the point. Giving us like, the information we want. Because um, this know it's going to be too long as well. And if I've heard the release date, the release date is also quite exciting. So, if it's true, <laughs> it might not be true. It's been very cool with it. And again, thank you to, uh, to Play On. Thanks to War uh, Warhawks for inviting me to see it early. It was very, very lucky. I could easily go upload. <laughs> In this Done. game, you can experience something you cannot experience anywhere else. I think players will be really impressed by that. <laughs> My message to the fans would be you are in for a ride. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you for all your support. Please follow us on our journey to create something unique. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 will be released by the end of this year. See you in KCDT. By the end of the year. But I, I believe that's what I can show you. There's some more stuff, like talky talky stuff after this. But yeah, by the end of the year, that is that's awesome. I was expecting, obviously, when I I, I heard about the the release date uh, recently, actually, I think it leaked on IGN. Um, but yeah, I was expecting it to be 20, 2025, early 2025. But the fact it's coming out this year, they revealed it this year. Awesome. Uh, we do actually have some screenshots to look at. That's, I think that's actually taking place during the uh, the trailer. But look at the fidelity on the foliage. Looks mwah, crisp. It looks like Henry's not in the best shape here. This is the, the battle about to start. And again, there was never this kind of number on screen in the first game. Loads of horses as well. Look at that horse, like, completely striped up. <laughs> um, yeah, again, just wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is 
what I love from a sequel. The first game, obviously, is like the foundations, but then trying to improve on all the aspects of the first game. That's a, that's a proper sequel for me. I don't remember this is if this is this during the the, the, the trailer might be. This guy's blooded up, got a bow, an arrow to the chest or the stomach, I guess. This guy's mask. I love this new animation holding the sword. If you've got strong enough leather, um, you can basically hold a sword like that. That that's doable. Um, yeah, chainmail. The mask looks absolutely terrifying. He's got a crossbow on his back, which obviously is a new weapon in the game. Got a nice close up of Henry, looking pretty sharp. No blood on him yet. Maybe it's taken uh, early on in the game potentially. The hair looking good. Horse looking good. Yeah. I mean, what 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 can I say? A warm embrace of a female. There was some romance in the first game. In case you guys are not potentially wanting to click on my on my series, there's a little bit of romance in the series. Again, the lighting looks. Is that? I don't know if that's ray tracing or not. I'm not Digital Foundry, but whoo! And here's a look at the Incredible Vista. I think we pretty much covered uh, most of the stuff during that that reveal. Right? It's a really good reveal, a solid reveal. So cutscenes gone up from three to five. Also, that's particularly a selling point, but again, more story, more intrigue. Um, the game apparently is going to be a lot longer as well. So the game is going to be twice as big in terms of the open world, which is sizable. Um, much more longer, much more epic. Crossbows, firearms for the first time. Uh, yeah, some really, really cool additions. Again, this feels like a proper, proper sequel. Thanks to Play On. Thanks to Warhouse for the invite. And I cannot wait. I'm hoping... We get to play this game early. Again, go and check out the first game on my channel. Go onto Steam, go onto your PS4, onto your Xbox One. Check out the first game, play it, watch it, do what you need to do, and bye-bye.